Okie dokie, welcome back to the channel, you're watching Duty's Daggers. My name is Kevin, we're doing a knife review today of this cool little guy. First of all, if you're not subscribed, just push the button, you'll be happy you did, I promise. And uh, follow me on Instagram, Duty's underscore daggers. This is a fun channel, trust me, we have fun here. Um, so, we're doing a review of this, uh, this guy, this is the Benchmade Proper. It is a slip joint, I believe it's Benchmade's only slip joint. And um, I'm really liking this thing. So let's um, do some measurements real quick. Then we'll do some size comparisons so you can guys can get a better idea of how big the knife is. And then we'll get into all the little juicy details. Overall length, 6 and 3 quarters inch. Blade length, 2 and 7 eighths, a little bit less. Oops. Closed length three and three quarters of an inch bam it's a nice little guy it's very light pretty small but not too small let's throw out some other knives for a comparison how about oopsie just dropping everything another bench made the bench made griptilian pretty much uh <laughs> you know much bigger let's check out how about the finch holiday there you go. And let's do the Spider Co. Paramilitary 2. And the Demco 8020.5. There you go. And then let's do some Civivis. Civivi Lumi. Actually, bigger than the Lumi. And the Civivi Elementum. Well, that's weird. It's actually not that much smaller than the Elementum, even though it looks like it's a lot smaller. It's really only like a quarter inch smaller. That's weird. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about this little guy. So it's a slip joint. Um, no lock on the knife. You know, it's held open by this back spring that um, forces a little, uh, you know, piece into a notch. Um, or into like a little area to um, keep it open and then to close it you just push past that it gets to a half stop push it down all the way um, I've been kind of getting into slip joints a little bit more recently typically I've been um, you know a locking knife guy knives that lock in the open position um, but I think that slip joints have a really cool place in the in the EDC world, in, in my world, and what I want to use them for. Um, you know, they're smaller. They typically don't come with pocket clips. They're just something that you slip into your pocket. Um, this one in particular is very lightweight, which I've really been enjoying. Um, just having a, a small, very light knife to throw in my pocket uh, when I don't want to carry um, a bigger knife with a pocket clip if I'm wearing a uh, different kind of pants or shorts where I want something nice and light this is being this you know this is a really really good good option um, so we have uh, micarta here on the handle scales it's very good quality micarta too um, I've seen a lot of you know crap micarta I've seen a lot of okay micarta and this is very good quality stuff um, you can feel the individual fibers. Um, it's soft, but also grippy. Here we can see in comparison to the micarta on the Elementum here, you can even tell just by looking at it that this is better stuff. This stuff here, um, there's a little bit of texture, but it almost just feels like G10. You know, um, this here, it looks great, and it also feels very good. So I really love the micarta on this thing. This lanyard obviously doesn't come with it, but um, I thought it would look badass on here, and I think it really does. We have a uh, sheep's foot style blade with a little bit of a, a fuller here or a nail nick. That's to help you get the knife out. Um, you don't really need to use it. You can kind of just grip, grip the knife and get it out that way. Um, we have a flat grind, which um, I kind of wish it was a full flat, but um, it's not. It's a partial flat. Um, it doesn't get like ridiculously thin at the edge, but that doesn't really stop this thing from slicing well. We can see it absolutely does still slice well. 
Um, and this blade shape is just really great for, uh, for EDC type tasks. Nice low tip, you know, get your pointer finger right up there, get a lot of pressure down into it for draw cuts. Um, this is just a, it's a perfect blade shape for a smaller knife because, you know, with smaller knives, this is kind of mostly how you're going to be holding it. At least I do. You know, I'm, I'm really not ever gripping it like this in a hammer grip, you know, forcing it through material. That's just not what I use this knife for. And I think most people probably don't either. Um, what else? Um, so the, um, the, the major draw, drawback downside to this knife is it kind of has a weak back spring. Meaning that when I open it up and I get to this half stop, it just feels kind of mushy. And then when I get it to the full open position, there's not like a very big pop to it. If we look at <coughs> the Rough Rider Apta in comparison, you can even hear the difference. Hear that nice pop when we get to the half stop, and then when we go to full open, it's a nice, it's just, it's much stiffer and crisper. This one, not the case. Um, it just feels sort of mushy and ugh, and not good. When I first got it, it felt really gritty in the pivot as well. Um, but I ended up lubing it up in there, and it actually improved it much, much, you know, significantly greater, much better. <laughs> I totally botched that sentence. The uh, the lube um, improved the action uh, quite a bit. It made it much smoother in there, but it just still doesn't really have that pop. Um, that you want in a slip joint. Um, at first, that was a deal breaker for me. But as I started carrying this thing, I started realizing how useful it was to have this t sort of blade shape in this sort of small lightweight package that um, it's really grown on me. And I'm, I'm definitely going to keep it now. Um, it's just uh, it's a really good knife. If you can get past that sort of mushy action, this is a very, very good design. If I want to get a full grip on it, I can easily. Um, but I mostly, like I said, hold the knife like this. And, you know, if you want to hold a knife like this, this is the type, type of blade shape that you want to have. Um, it is, I think, a little bit expensive for what you're getting. Um, the blade steel is good stuff. It's um, S30V. So this is going to, this edge is going to hold up for, you know, a pretty decent amount of time. This is good stuff. Um, but it's around 150 bucks, 140 bucks, which I think is a little pricey. You know, the um, that's a, right around uh, you know griptilian prices, which you're getting a lot more knife, a lot more steel, same blade steel, but just more of it, axis lock, and all that. So I think it's a little pricey, um, but um, I really like the knife. I really do. So. Um, you know, if you feel so inclined, this is a, a really good option. They also sell it in a drop point. This is the much better version, in my opinion, the, uh, the sheep's foot. And, um, yeah, like I said, really growing on me, really learning, <laughs> learning to love it. Um, and that's really it. It's a simple knife. There's not a whole much else, you know, not a whole lot else to say, to be honest. And, um, yeah, that's it. That's the bench made proper. Nice short one today. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Adios.